Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, my respected brothers and sisters. I welcome you back. Today I am going to interpret the meaning of seeing the Quran in our dream. Of course, if we are seeing the Quran in our dream, then it has to be a good dream. Isn't that correct? Well, yes, it is correct because the Quran is our holy book. We bring iman upon the Quran and the Quran is our guide. It it's a guide for us throughout our lifetime. We look for answers in the Quran. The Quran teaches us many lessons. So of course, if we see the Quran in our dream, it is definitely going to be a good dream. However, we want to know specifically what the meaning could be. So let's delve into uh, a bit more of a specific interpretation. If someone sees the Quran in their dream and they regularly read the Quran, meaning in the morning they wake up, they read the Quran, and this is a daily routine, or someone throughout the day they are reading the Quran, it could be a mere reflection, something that they are habitual of doing during the day, they see when they go sleep at night. So it could possibly just be a mere reflection. Even as a mere reflection, it is a sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the iman, the faith of this person is very strong. But let's say someone who doesn't read the Quran on a daily basis or is not habitual at all in reading the Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability and the tawfiq to read the Quran habitually on a daily basis. But let's say someone who doesn't read the Quran on a daily basis, that person sees the Quran in their dream. What does this mean? It could mean one of two things. It could either mean this person is uh, going to come close to the deen, is going to fulfill the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In other words, this person is going to begin obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, if the person isn't reading salah, that person will begin reading salah. So, the first meaning could be that the person who is seeing the Quran in their dream, if they are, if they have distanced themselves from Dinul Islam, they are going to come close to Dinul Islam. They are going to begin practicing uh, the religion, and they are going to obey Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. The second possible meaning of seeing the Quran in our dream. What could it be? If someone sees the Quran in their dream, it could be a sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah is going to guide them. Now let me give you an example. Someone has started a business. They, they are not doing well in their business. Or they are doing well, but... Allah is trying to give this person a sign that sooner or later something is going to happen in business where you are going to go into negative, where your business will no longer remain positive for you. It's going to be a negative outcome. I'm not sure if that example made sense. I tried to uh, make an example on the spots, but uh, someone who has set out to do something but a problem uh, will prevail or something bad is going to happen seeing the quran in their dream it is a sign of guidance meaning that allah is going to guide that individual so that person stays safe from any evil uh, coming upon that person or anything bad happening to that person so in a nutshell, if someone sees the Qur'an in their dream and they have set out on a journey or they have uh, an ambition and they are pursuing their ambition, 
or they are they've started a new job or they've started college etc this is a sign from Allah that Allah will guide that individual so him or her seeing the Quran in their dream is a good thing it is a sign that Allah is going to guide them inshallah ta'ala and Allah will safeguard them from any evil any calamity any problems tribulations etc so my respected brothers and sisters we've learned that seeing the Quran in our dream indeed is virtuous indeed it is a blessing may we all see the Quran in our dream but not just in our dream may we all see the Quran physically open in front of us on a daily basis Amin Ya Rabbal Alameen my brothers and sisters I humbly request that you like and share the contents of this channel uh, if of course if you find uh, the information uh, of use to yourself and you're happy with it then you should like and if you're not happy then you should comment so I could then uh, fix any mistakes that I am making also my respected brothers and sisters I humbly request if you have not done so subscribe to this channel Jazakumullahu khaira Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh